<laughs> all right good morning coffee lovers rejoice look at all this coffee that we have to select from today what would you like jeffrey this one sure. all right what have we got here this kicking horse three sisters that's what we're gonna have today okay guys so if you can see here the beans are actually three different shades and the reason it's called three sisters is because the beans are from all different places so there's indonesian central and south america beans mixed in here So, are you saying good morning? Say good morning. morning. All right, so we are on our way out to the daily grocery store stop. Who's, who's we? Me and Indy? Yeah, okay, see you later. Just woke up from her nap. So, that's what's happening. I, yeah. It's going down right now. Must eat Oreo. So good. Here you go. Okay, get your arms out. Okay, come to mama. Put your arms out, Dada. Oh, that's really One. Two. Still kayaking this. Every day. So, we are attempting to get Indy to walk. She, um, I heard, I actually heard on the internet that if you, like, run around with them or like force them into walking and then you kind of let them go they'll just like take off hasn't worked yet before i turned the camera on she did take like one step and then she fell on jeff but since i've turned the camera on we haven't been successful indy and i are out oh this might not have been a good spot to film someone's cutting their grass i don't know how loud it is but Indy and I are out on a walk. Um, it was much cooler out this morning, but I think the sun has heated it up. So yeah, we decided to get out. She's had a few little cat naps here and there throughout the day. So I figured we could get out and get some fresh air and yeah, do a little vlogging. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. Well, I vlogged like four clips and then I ended the vlog. And then I went to edit it and I was like, oh, I actually didn't film. So today I am trying to be a little more due diligent about picking up the camera and actually filming some things. So we're out on our little walk as per usual. I hope she is good because she just woke up from a nap. So hopefully she's not too hungry, but for now, we're just gonna go on a little walk around our neighborhood. storm or something's coming but it is crazy windy out here look at these trees all right so we just got back from our walk what walk today i am going to be juicing some oranges i'm going to try out juicing three oranges just to see if that'll make me one glass these are quite large as well we have a pineapple that is ripe i think it's beyond ripe so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna juice this up as well because Jeff doesn't really like pineapple. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and juice the whole thing and have pineapple orange juice. I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> fail. <laughs> All right, guys, huge fail. Um, the actual container that we juice into um is dirty and so me being lazy was like i'll just grab glass and juice into the glass yeah i guess the juice container that we use is a lot fatter so this glass filled up like instantly so now i got a bit of mess to clean up 
uh, and my glass is full and I still have pineapple left. So kind of a fail, but Indy's loving it. You want some pineapple? Here, baby. Yummy. Is that good? Good job. Okay, so I have a little life hack for you guys. If any of you guys juice oranges or you need to peel them just to eat. Um, you all know if you watch my video from a couple days ago, I bought like a 10 pound case of oranges because I've been juicing them for fresh orange juice. So a little hack so that your fingers don't one smell like oranges and it takes you forever to peel them, you use a spoon. So here's your spoon and you basically just take this and I don't even know if I'm in frame here and you just kind of dig under the skin and it lifts it right up so all right so this jar is yes indeed this jar is I think about 32 ounces and I've got about halfway Maybe, yeah, maybe half. This is all foam. Halfway of the pineapple juice. And that was juicing an entire pineapple. So obviously you can see if you eat it, you get a larger quantity. But I just love to juice fruits and veggies. And then this was my three, um, the three oranges that I juice. I'm not sure the size of these cups. But I have drank in some of this. It was about up to here. So that's what I got out of three oranges. So that's pretty good. I probably could have got away with two oranges and it might have filled the one cup. Um, which would have been good for me. I'm going to put this in the fridge for the morning. Yes, Indy. And drink this in the morning. And I'm going to also probably drink a little bit of this tonight. I actually might mix this with some of my orange juice. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'm going to drink this tonight and save the other two for the morning. Okay, so I got busy with Indy. But for dinner, today on the Jasper menu, is the lovely homemade pizza. Not really homemade, just, you know, assembled at home. This crust that I'm using is a flatbread by a stone something. <laughs> stone fire, I believe it says. Um, so, yeah, it's just an artisan flatbread. Then I put, where did that jar of sauce go? I put this Classico Sweet Basil Marinara as my base, and then I shredded up some mozzarella. I have some fresh basil on here from our basil plant, and some fresh Parmesan. So I'm kind of doing like a margarita style pizza. It is the end of the night now, and I just got Indy down to sleep. I have been holding her for the past like three hours, so hopefully she can stay there. I can relax the rest of the evening, um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment below and let me know, and thumbs up this video, and share so everybody else can enjoy as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Toodles!